Thank you, sir. All right, we'll call this meeting of the fire commission to order. We'll start with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic which stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, on tonight's agenda, we have consideration of approval of the regular meeting minutes from January 10th. Mm -hmm. I believe they need to be amended. Can I speak to that, Mr. Rubino? Yes, sir. So under uh, the review of prior study, okay, uh, consensus of the commission that the top priority is to acquire two ladder trucks, one for each department, discussing the suit. But under my, I made a motion that two ladder trucks uh, be sent to the approval, be sent to the Board of Selectmen and the Board of Finance for their approval to purchase the two ladder trucks for both departments now. Then you also made a motion regarding the study too that was seconded and that's the yes thing. it's not here i didn't I, until now i didn't know it wasn't it that's not it yeah, right. right you you made a motion to for them to come up with a, a, a forward plan of forward looking plan uh, vehicle replacement yep correct and the rest of the study yep so if we could amend the minutes to, right so i'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes as amended second all those in favor aye, aye. aye. opposed Motion carries. All right, second item on our agenda is consideration of the Stony Hill 24-25 budget presentation. We'll let uh, Chief Baker present it and then we'll grow them with questions and uh, answers. Okay, um, the budget has a- uh, Everybody's got a copy, right? Does everybody yeah. have the copies that I gave you? Yes. Not the meeting. Okay. So the- Proposed budget does have a um, an increase, and the majority of the increase is due to um, cost increase. Uh, the um, the two hundred two account was uh, due to a major price increase in turnout here, uh, and minor increases across the board. The firehouse maintenance account. Uh, went up significantly due to the fact that we are um, now adding in the cost of firehouse software um, and the cost of the um, door access to the firehouse, which we were kind of just absorbing as just part of a general uh, fund. And we are going to be saving some money. We're going to be canceling the cable now that we're on the fiber optic network um to speak on that we actually had cable out today to to make some repairs but um it came out and said we really can't switch yet until the um fiber optic can be brought a direct line to each tv instead of trying to stream the wirelessly or you're just gonna have problems with a video buffering and buffering and not and and uh freezing up and pausing so it needs to really have a, a direct line so we're going to hold on to the Comcast probably another month. I told them, you know, the where the incentive is, the sooner you get this small wiring project done, the sooner we can um, cut this cost out of the budget. Um, and the rest is just um, vendor cost is increasing. Um, dues and education, we increased uh, significantly for um, training because not only cost is going up, but we're doing a lot more specialized training. We did it, we just recently did a class on um, cold water rescue that we had a state certified instructor come down, uh, keep that class. We've done a um, low angle growth rescue class. These are things that uh, really need to be taught by uh, special instructors instead of just in-house. We can do some refreshers, but to actually get that point across from the, the start really needs to be done by uh, a certified instructor in that uh, field. And professional services uh, uh, just cost increases. You're underspent year to date. You're, you're light. 
the un yeah, well, it, it looks it looks like deceiving because we have a lot of costs that are going to be coming up in the uh, the springtime, which is going to be each apparatus going out for its uh, service maintenance inspection. Um, we just had our uh, her schools just inspected today, so there's still a lot of high ticket items that we're waiting for the for the, to, to come in. We have some uh, gear that's been purchased that has to uh, to come in, so um, it it looks like there's a lot of money left, but we're only halfway through the year. And one of the things that I found was uh, one of the vendors was holding off on some of the uh, invoices. Uh, one is the, the uh, time frame of items coming in, like we had ordered a uh, the battery power fan, took a while to come in, and then they thought they'd set the bill, they didn't set the bill, so I now I have a bill that technically should have been on last year's budget. The budget's closed out, but now I've got to absorb it in this year's budget. But that was um, their fault. And in general, where do you guys stand on two sets of gear for everybody? Close? We're, we're close to it, yeah. I mean, we just had an influx of some new members coming in, so that's not going to be the case. Obviously, we want to make sure that uh, they're committed before we start pushing for two sets of gear. We're not going to get them two sets of gear right off the door. So. Now, when Doug says two sets of gear for everybody, are you getting two sets of gear for everybody or two sets of gear for your interior firefighters? No, interior firefighters, because the... Um, that second set of gear for um, exterior firefighters, it, first of all, it's not getting uh, pretty much any contamination to it, so it shouldn't be difficult to put back in service quick and easy. Your ladders tested? Ladders have not been tested. That's the same price, though. Okay. So I have a couple questions. Under dues and education, <laughs> What's the money allocated to Georgetown Volunteer and Fire Club? That was for a class. That's a good class. That's student education training. That was, that yeah, was two classes? That was for an instructor's course for um, well, Nick Oh, that's where they held it. That's where they held it. They held it. Okay. And the, the host is donated back. And Brookfield Volunteer Fire Company too. That's the class. Those are classes. Oh, they classes. actually that was for um classes for EMS. No, I'm, not, I'm sorry, that's not EMS. That's a fire one. Fire one class. Yeah. Fire one class. Yeah. Tommy is in that's there. That's fair too, a, because uh, you share that with Chris, right? When you guys are you pay you pay per student. It's paid per student. So who's ever a member is actually taking the class. Right. It would be. Um, but there is some. Uh, Funding that's going to go in there that's going to be shared for the uh, Bethel Fire Department hosting the class. So, for instance, there's um, costs for the uh, fire school for the live burn. The two departments are going to um, split that cost because they're the host. Um, but uh, Tom Gallifer is taking a fire service instructor two class, so that's where the Brookfield money is. Good. Is the the Barnelli are those tires? Yes. Um, it also could be for the the chief's truck. We had uh, quite a bit of uh, work done in that with getting tires, getting brakes, getting uh, shocks, a battery. Um, the expedition also gets work done there as well. Where's your new ride? It's a good question. I was going to ask that question. <laughs> Yeah, so what's happening with the, the chief's truck? We sent it on to the board of selectmen. That was twice last year. Now. It, was, it was endorsed by the fire commission last year. Yeah, we sent it to the board of selectmen and it went to the board of finance and they sent it back and or it it, it got it got held. It was in, in between the election. I think you made a motion or something to uh, put it on hold until after the election. And and then it came back to us and we forwarded it to the board of selectmen again. And I haven't heard anything since. That's falling through the cracks. We should yeah, we'll, uh, make a motion to move that back through again. I mean, I put it into the capital again. You have a saw that of ten years. years. Um. Yeah, we can't really add it to our agenda tonight for discussion, but. We'll certainly bring it up at our February meeting if anybody hasn't 
transpired yet. Well, you might be able to because we're doing a budget discussion. Yeah, it's that, a budget. Capital budget. Well, because that's right. what I gave you yeah. a yeah. output of the output discussion of budget. Of budget. Yeah. I, yeah. Either approve or disapprove. I gave you, you a copy of, of the uh, capital because that was going to be, well, I was just. So that's when uh, I talked to Welcome uh, Carter, who said, regardless, just submitted because um, Brad asked for it. Not sure, I haven't got the capital budget. Here, I've got the back. Here. Last thing. Here, last thing. Now I have a copy. Here. Here. So we would put. Now it's the second year. All right. Well, yeah. So I mean, we'll just we'll just recommend that to the board of selectmen again. Um, we want to the board to move it to the board. And if you're and looking at that capital budget, the amount that's in there for the um, the paratech struts, that's right. including the twelve thousand that I had approved by this commission the last time we met. So if that starter kit gets approved, that amount would probably be deducted from that total. Right. All right, so we wanna make a motion to recommend to the Board of Selectmen to move forward with the capital replacement of the Stony Hill Chief Vehicle? Yes. Yes. Second, I second that second. motion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? It's the third time. So hopefully something happens with it, John. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? Or I have a whole bunch. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to jump around here a little bit. Okay. But, uh, I'll start with your uh, 208 vehicle maintenance. Yeah, uh, I believe $1,000 for weight analysis, annual weight analysis. You actually doing that? Yes, the, okay. um, that, I, to, um, I haven't seen it yet, so I assume that's something you're doing later in the spring. Or yes, that comes up when we do send the entire fleet in one by one for the um, annual inspections and uh, maintenance and testing of the building. Who does that? Steve okay. does. All right, and then um, I saw in your year to date on the on the vehicle maintenance. You had a couple of expenditures for gallons a night for, um, I think they totaled, yeah, one for 32.55 and another for 27.68. What, what were those? Uh, we've had them out for some several minor repairs. We had the rescue uh, because of a, uh, a brake leak. Fairly, yeah. fairly. Okay, so those weren't your your no, those aren't those are actual uh, repair repair issues. Okay, outside of the maintenance inspections. No, we just had them out for a uh, electrical issue on engine one for a power switch that had to be uh, replaced. And then I saw it, it looks like you had your ladder testing done. It looked like it was four hundred dollars, but you. Requesting seven fifty in the budget. Correct. That's going to be for a uh, an increase in cost. We had them done. So when um, seems like a pretty Chief dramatic Rito increase. Said, um, well, that's we didn't have all. Of, we were anticipating additional ladders with uh, the new apparatus. Um, the um, We're not going to get the yeah. I don't perceive apparatus. Yeah, in the next fiscal year. But um, so I, I I would think we could hold that you know at a nominal price increase, maybe hold that line at four fifty as opposed oh, to seven hundred. Yeah. So can we can we get a motion to hold the uh, the line item in the in the what's the line in the two hundred eight account? Who has uh, seven hundred fifty dollars for the ladder testing? Ladder We're going to hold that at four fifty. The wires have changed. Just keep the wires. 
Well, we're increasing it from 400 to 400. We're anticipating a, a minus decrease. Is there a second on that motion? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 You want to do a, all right. Is, it, is there any more in that line that you want to do well, for a bottom line number? Well, there might be. Okay. Okay. So it's, just when we get down, we should do the bottom line on that. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, her school's service and repairs. So you got a little bit of an increase there, 1250 from 1100. And we replaced a whole bunch of these tools with, you know, new hydraulics. And, you know, we said we weren't going to be doing any more repairs on any of the old, uh, you know, yeah, hydraulics. That was the, the cost of the actual uh, inspection. And, and so now we actually have more tools that are being inspected than because we kept in service the hydraulics one. And now we have the each. So this is the cost of your, your annual service contract. Right. But we're not doing any more repairs on the, on the old and hydraulics. Huh? If they break, we're going to try and get parts. If we can't get parts, then uh, I, I thought we I thought we agreed that we weren't going to spend any more money on that. I believe. Is that what you got? Depending on what what tool we're talking about, we got the, the hydraulic the, tools. The, the hydraulic line tools. There's a couple of them that aren't that old. And I I feel that we should keep putting money into them if they have parts to to replace. Them. Instead of jumping and buying a new set of it would certainly be cheaper than buying the hydraulics. If they have it, but the issue is, and I spoke with the guy at uh, Hearst today, they, they're not making replacement parts. They're not making the blades for the old hydraulic ones. They're not making the tips. So if something like that breaks and he can't get it, his recommenda recommendation is to replace it with an e-drawing. But if he has a O-ring or something that can fix that tool, we're going to spend the money and, and, and fix that tool versus spending... Yeah, no, no, I yeah, I mean I understand over and stuff. Yeah, but I'm I'm saying I'm saying some ma if some major breaks on it, you break a tip or or, or something on the cutter, it's garbage then. We're, we we have to replace it then with a new tool. But until then, we can keep servicing them and keep keep going through them. Okay, yeah, no, I just wanted to make sure we were yeah. it, as long as I understand that that's the cost of the annual service. Yeah. Uh, I was just actually gonna look, look and see if he gave you. a because he was there today, I probably have the exact amount of what it costs for him to do the service tonight. Okay. Someone jumps off the truck, they're pulling any hydraulics anyway. Right? Yeah, so it's, it's getting limited it's getting limited coach. use. You could probably milk this for quite a while with just right. riding them over yeah. here. Most of the time it's just getting its uh weekly check to make sure that it is in, in working order. Right. So yes, it will have the uh the pump run, it will have hydraulics run through it, it will you know, I mean, that's actually going to help uh, sustain his life to make sure it's uh, getting, you know, lubricated. It's always been the same company they have. Yeah, they they know, they have the always yeah. yeah, it's the same one that goes up. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll just wait for Doug to see if he's got that number, what it costs this year. But this is the only thing this is is the breakdown of what they do with each tool. It's not it's not gonna be able to give them the right. I, I mean it, it was it was a nominal increase off from last year. I mean, my big concern is is, is this is a 29% increase over the over two year period. You know this this commission, you know, allocated a lot of extra money above what you requested in last year's budget. We gave you you know like extra money for uh, meters and uh, thermal cameras. Yeah, that which was a one time purchase for. Uh, right. uh, but over meters. the course of the pre last two years, you have a twenty nine percent increase in, in spending, you know, proposed spending. So, uh, it seems like a lot of money to me. But all right, so moving on from vehicle, the vehicle maintenance is just the the four fifty. Then I have a lot of testing. Um, so, what else do you want to do to the bottom line now to change the? Right. The total per account to uh five to two oh eight. Sure. So three thousand two hundred and fifty. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. All right. So a motion to fund the the, the two oh eight account to fifty three thousand two fifty. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? So carry. All right. Uh news and education. I just a question on you get three thousand dollars for recruitment and, and retention. How are you spending that money? 
I mean, I'm all about, you know, recruiting new members and retaining them. I'm just curious on how you're spending the money. Um, so it's being spent on um, apparel, T-shirts, um, station shirts for the officers. Um, it's being spent on a, a gift at the holiday. Um, it's being spent on uh, recruitment flyers. It's being spent on... Uh, the we're also incorporating some of the cost of the um the message board that we're doing. Because that's going to be an annual recurring cost. All right, well, you, you said shirts and, and apparels, but I see in your 202 account, you have a line item for uniforms and station wear. Wouldn't that be the same thing? Well, the, the Class A uniforms are, are, are separated out. Yeah, but and that's in the but it says and, and, and station wear in your 202. Um, yeah, that's mostly coming out of uh, the retention and recruitment. Um, We have some of the, uh, the signs that we need to replace that we put up throughout the town. Um, so that was going to come out of there. Um, we also take out of there some of the social media costs of the um, recruitment videos that we put on social media. So we have an outside company come in and, and put together a video. So the, um, the costs of um, editing and um, sound and that was uh, Jay Perry's brother that did it for us the last time. Yeah. Where am I getting what's on this paper? Let's switch our hands. The same paper, just orientated differently. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was dues and education. All right, so. I guess a motion to fund the dues and education in the amount of $22,200 as requested. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. I'm really jumping around, you know. Uh, 306, professional services. Uh, my question on that was. Looks like you're requesting uh, eight, $1,850 for the uh, EAP, which is, and it looks like the actual cost of that in this year's budget was $1,006.11. It's a pretty significant increase. Uh, that was for the projected increase in cost. And that's almost double. And yeah, your year to date, it was one thousand six dollars change. I would have to check back with them on the exact increase in cost. I don't have a, a quote for them. Yeah. This is what this is what cost yeah. this year. Yeah. And uh, Chief McCollum has it in his budget for fifteen hundred. He's got quite a few more members. I don't know how they charge if it's by members or. I don't. I think it's a flat rate. I don't think it's yeah. by number. I just. I, Chief McCollum gave me a copy of his proposal today, and he's got 1500 in his. Okay, then we could probably reduce that to the 1500 
But you want to do put it in as fifteen hundred dollars. So can we have a motion to reduce the uh, three hundred six account by? Um, Nineteen five, uh, forty five hundred dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, thirty five hundred. Thirty five hundred. No, forty five because he's proposing nineteen fifty. He had eighteen eighteen five in there last year. Mm -hmm. He's proposing nineteen five. No, some of that's also going to be the uh, the business. That's a different line. Oh no, wait, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm confused. 1750, 1850. Yeah, so the only thing that should be changing would be the uh, EAP. Program. Right, so we want to reduce that by $350. Yeah, so $350, yeah, $3,500. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. You're paying us back. <laughs> you got to bring money you to the EAP. I'm going to need the EAP. <laughs> All right, so we'll make a motion to fund the 306 account in the amount of $21,000. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Here. Um, firehouse maintenance. Garage door maintenance. You're requesting twelve hundred dollars. I, I just I look back in your your year to date, and so far I, I see overhead door. You've only spent two hundred seventy dollars. You have anticipated. We had a lot of repairs over. Over uh, last year, and they need to even come back again. Right well, I saw two hundred seventy dollars. Doesn't seem like a lot. There's so many times that they come and they don't bill us. We don't we don't receive a bill for some guy. I don't know the reason because over at door. had a lot more work than two hundred fifty dollars. I've had yeah. another three four times minimum. But there is an opener. The opener on eight three is graduate door. The other half to be replaced, and that's where the cost increase is going to be. There's a gap in, in quite a few of the doors, which is causing, you know, obviously uh, temperature, but we're, uh, we also have a rodent problem that they've got to get this these gaps fixed. Um, there's also, because of low bid, some of the, um, the tracks need to be looked at. A3 gets, you know, used several times a day. That's probably the one that's really becoming an issue. Yeah. I would say probably, 85, 90 percent of the time that they come out is for that one thing, just because it gets so much use. Yeah, and ninety percent of the time, honestly, because these guys don't even try this. They come out, they fix it, and they're yeah. Are they not charging us, or are they building? Is building maintenance getting yeah, billed for it? Or... I'm just going to ask John: Do do you get the bills, or do they go to finance? Or if I don't get a bill, I don't know about it. I don't know how to answer that question because well, I, 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 know, I can't I, imagine somebody's coming out and doing work and not getting paid, paid for it. Yeah, so no, maybe we need to check with finance to see if you know they're paying the bills and not allocating it to the firehouse. That's over there. Yeah, well, I just don't understand why I would get yeah, some and not all of them. Yeah, if well, they, were, if well, they truly that's, were billing. Yeah, that's true. What do you use? Brookfield? Did we you use Brookfield over at Door. Yeah. All right, so then I know the other question I have is I know it gets a little confusing. You got, you know, you said you're taking out the cost of the cable service. I understand that, and then you're talking about adding in message boards, but then we're also you, getting, you just uh, said you, we're you were, have to put in um, uh, streaming apps too to offset not having any cable TV. Right, but you just told me that you were funding your message boards through your dues and education in the in your fire prevention. Or your recruitment and retention line. Right, because some of that is, is going to be coming from uh, this account for, because we're getting three different message boards. I was breaking out the one that was going to be in the community room because that's going to be more community based. The others are going to be more uh, firehouse based. And because the one in the uh, uh, community room, we're going to look at more of putting on community events and also. Try and get some recruitment and, and um, more members out of it based on um, advertising that we need members and and showing a uh, photo gallery of what we do for any time that the community group is used. I mean, uh, the 
management of the software and the incident alerting system. If you could just, just explain that, what it is. 4500 oh, dollars $4, for annual cost of firehouse managing software and incident alerting system. So the uh, firehouse software is um, we're using it right now, but I never put it in as a line item, which is emergency reporting, which is about two thousand dollars a year. Okay. Um, I can't give you exact numbers. Tommy's working on it right now, looking at possibly changing to a new company because the uh, software that is being used right now is not compatible between the two departments for his work as a fire marshal. Uh, this new company, First Due, says that they can work with the two different uh, uh, FID numbers, FDID numbers. Also, um, they have their own alerting system, which would be an increase in cost, but then we would be able to lose the cost of the um, active 911, which is currently coming out of the fire marshal. Budget, which we put in the top of the because it's part of this package. Okay. Anybody else have any other questions on those accounts? Sir. The uh, chairman, it's it's Tom. I, I can, if you want me to explain that a little bit. Um, <laughs> Well, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I think I kind of have a hand up, handle on it now. Yeah, so right now, oh. like you said, right, um, each firehouse is paying for emergency reporting, which is their software for the fire incident reports, right. for That's training true. records, right, you know, inventory, truck checks, all that. Each firehouse is paying for that separately. And then I pay for emergency management for Active 911, which is the mobile alerting app. And then I have my own software through the fire marshals for fire marshal inspections and pre-plans. So emergency reporting was bought out by ESO. Their new price schedule goes in effect later on this year. And it's probably each firehouse is probably going to pay double or triple what they're paying now. So there's another company out there, uh, First Due, that New Milford, the city of Danbury and Brookfield are currently using. Um, and I've demoed it and looked at it, and it pretty much takes everything. It takes a, a mobile re uh, incident reporting app, the fire incident reporting, my pre-planning, my fire marshal's inspections, and all their training records, everything in the one software program where everyone will have you know their level of access. Um, and it'll help me to update pre-plans pretty much instantaneously. So we basically took the cost of that entire system and, and split it three ways between each firehouse and, and the fire marshal's office. So it's that's that's kind of what we would like to do. So we can kind of get rid of some things and kind of streamline stuff. And I, I you know, for the pre-planning part of it, it'll be able to be pretty much instantaneous pre-plans. And right now I have to do in a software program, print out a PDF, and then go into another app and upload it. It's just very cumbersome and nothing gets updated on a very timely basis. So it'll streamline a lot of a lot of software programs. Okay. Yeah. No, I just questioned it because I see Chief McCollum had put in for two thousand dollars for that. And then Chief Baker has forty five hundred dollars for it. Yeah, no, I think I gave them all the same price. That's that's because I'm adding in additional uh because our our door system, I didn't break it out, but our door system also costs us about two thousand dollars for the uh the firewall and managing the system. Okay. That which we use uh, a company called OpenPath. All right. Okay. Thank you, Tom. So that was fair. So did we have a motion to fund the 207 account as, as proposed? We did. No, we didn't. All right, so a motion to fund the 207 account in the amount of $24,200. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So carried. Are opposed? None. So carried. All right. Uh, 202, equipment and supply. Equipment and supplies. Pretty big jump. Um, Most of that is for the cost of turnout here, drastically increased. It goes up a couple of times a year uh, with the uh, cancer barrier, probably one of the big. Um, reasons that they're causing and just the cost of material is, is increasing. And I did, I actually under budgeted last year. 
So that's why it sounds even higher of an increase. Right, so I guess my big my big question is is I thought last year we we uh we funded money for the purchase of a couple of new gas meters. Mm -hmm. We I would think that you should be kind of up to date on gas meters. Or, or you're looking for well now it's mostly uh you're repairs. For, well, you're looking for fifteen hundred dollars for new meters and another uh seventeen hundred for repairs. I mean, that's thirty two hundred dollars allocated to just gas meters. But need a uh, a couple of officers need new uh, CO meters that they're um, causing uh, more trouble than it's worth to repair. The um, the cost of replacing the uh, the reason the cost is going up is the calibration gas is going up and also the replacement of the sensors. And how much are those those personal CL meters that you want to carry? I mean, they're not they're not a ton of them, right? And that's what you're talking about—the the little personal CL meter. That... What's up? Right. Yeah, those are. I'm not sure how much that. Is. Say like three hundred dollars. Each line officer will have a meter, a little personal meter. That. Yes. Line 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 all the line officers have yeah. But there's sensors inside there that go bad to have right. to be changed. And sometimes the sensors more than the meter before. Yeah, I was always under the impression that those were like oh, well, they once the, they go once they're yeah, when they're you have the same little CO meter right. and then you also have the um four gas meter. So yeah, replacing a cartridge on the four gas meter. It's definitely worth it, but not necessarily on the on the CO only meter. No. So basically, all right. So you have a so you have a line item for fifteen hundred dollars for new meters. So I guess you tell me you need five of the personal CO meters. I don't think I need five. I mean, is there is there room to reduce that amount? You know, you got seventeen hundred dollars for repairs. You know, I understand that's for replacing sensors and your four or five gas meters and the calibration glass. Yeah, well, I mean, we could probably reduce it by about five hundred. That would probably be adequate to get the uh, uh, meters. The new meters. So we we'll reduce that, Chief. Five hundred dollars less. Right. right. We, um... <clears throat> All right, and then I radio batteries. Seems like we just got a whole bunch of new pagers and for the ARPA funds, and we got new radios in the last year. We need we need uh, we need all that money for radio batteries already. Well, we just got in a um, a shipment of. Batteries for the old pagers, plus the uh, the newer pagers. They take AAA batteries, and they did. They're just NICAD. They don't last as long as the um, the batteries that we had for the Minotaur um, pagers from Motorola. So we go through batteries a little bit more, um, and the batteries on the HD 1250 radios that the officers are still using, and uh, we're issuing out to fire police. We're issuing out to EMA. Those batteries are still needing to be replaced. I'm not talking about the new ones for the F the F radios that we just got on the, on that grant or the uh, that large purchase. We have no spare batteries for the new radios anyway. The H the APX radios. Those are the ones that we have to we have to get new ones to have some spare batteries because mm -hmm. we have zero of those. Um, and then SCBA SCBA supplies and fit testing. Three thousand dollars. I don't know. It just that seemed like a big number for me. They're getting old. We had how many did we send up for repairs? About uh, four, three or four. Yeah. Four packs had to be repaired. So the average age uh, right that, now. That's a separate line item. You have you have seventy three hundred dollars for SCB repairs. Let's see. I'm looking at you have a line item for SCB supplies and fit testing. Um, <laughs> Yeah, seven hundred dollars. 
SCBA, SCBA supplies and fit testing, you have a line item of $3,000. Okay. I see that. And then down at the bottom, you have a line for SCBA testing and repairs of $7,300. I guess if you could explain those two lines and justify those numbers. Well, the um, SEBA uh, supplies is for um, batteries that need to be replaced throughout the year. It's for, um, and then you have the fit test where we have um, the state come in and actually mask fit testing for each um, member. And they have to do N95 also. No, that's a new. So that's an up cost increase of doing both um, SCBA masks and for N95 masks. And so that's why that- I guess I'm just too far removed because I remember it being $500 when I was cheap. So we actually talked about, was it last year or the year before, we talked about buying the machine ourselves between Bethel and Stony Hill and just doing the- Yeah, I was almost thinking about trying to do that with ARPA funds to try and eliminate this, but then it was, be the yeah, I know Bethel product. just moved to, they, they started using, um, well, they're doing their physical, they're doing their physicals and their fit testing and their, their, uh, their HEPA fit testing. Yeah. yeah. They're doing it through Griffin Hospital now. And I guess Griffin Hospital actually just bought the machine so they, they can, they can come and do it. So the hospital is doing their Griffin, SCBA? Griffin Hospital is going to do the, the SCBA fit testing for Bethel next year. According to what Chief McCollum told me. Sure. Yeah. So he probably mean in this physical year because they just did this but, last year with the physical street Griffin the hospital. Right. They they just did it, I don't know, six months ago or whatever. Yeah. But, but yeah, they whoever they did had to do the fit testing, they did it all at the same night when the Griffin Hospital came in and did the uh spirometry testing for all the members and it, so they, they bought the machine to do the spirometry testing. And, and uh, they're gonna, I guess, I don't know, talk to Chief McCall. The way he explained it to me it was Griffin Hospital is going to do the spirometry and, and the fit testing for the N95s and the SCBAs all together. Yeah, and where the guys come on Saturday and hey. Monday to do us at Stony Hill in the state, which kind of works out good for both departments because if there's somebody in Bethel that doesn't get it, on that Monday or Saturday, they, they can jump in and get it done. And Stony Hill, that's my whole only point behind that whole thing. And if somebody from Bethel comes up to Stony Hill, we're, we're taking that cost. For, right, for, yeah. well, I just I just seemed like a lot to me. I, I, know, I guess, like I said, I'm probably too far removed. I remember fantastic was $500 when the state used to come and do it in Bethel. Oh, no, they've increased it like that. Yeah, I'm sure they have. I guess, like I said, I'm probably pretty far removed. Um, I guess the only recommendation I would really have is with, with the severe increase in turnout gear, if somebody asked you how you were, or I think Bug asked you how you were set on two sets of gear for everybody, maybe, maybe we cut one, one set just to reduce the cost a little bit. Cut, cut one set this year from eight to seven. Right? Yeah, eight, I think. Eight, yeah. Eight. At eighty cents. The only problem with that is I know I have four people. I mean, maybe we have five more classes here. Five people already. Right so that's five sets right there of just new people coming in, and that's only their their one set. Obviously, I'm not going to get them two right out of gate, but that that will only leave me with four sets. And I think we already, I think the four sets are already spent. Anyways, we already ordered them. But we have to order them so far in advance because they're. Their turnaround time is so slow. And the problem you haven't you haven't ordered any yet this year. No. So you have five sets coming out of this year's budget. Yeah, that, that's for the people that are in fire one. We still have Mr. Vino, I believe Mr. Hart, and there's a handful of other people that still actually Tony's gear is outdated. So his gear has to Tony's outdated. <laughs> He set you up for that. I under, he set you up for that. I understand. <laughs> I understand where you're coming from because we're we're all looking at it as a as a, a budget item for the town of Bethel. But if and I'm not speaking because I'm a member of Stony Hill and I'm not speaking for Bethel. But if you if you're trying to bring in members, 
right? So, you know, bring up the ranks and they go through all the training and now they're certified interior firefighters. Well, by the standard, they have to have the two sets of gear. I mean, that's, that's the standard by the year. I don't like seeing the budgets increase either, but no, I, I said, like you I said before, you have to my, do my biggest and, concern was a 29% increase right. over two years. Right. Is that seems pretty over the top to me. More than one person. So. No, I'm yeah. not disagreeing with I'm just talking to see, people. Both, see both sides. You know, you know see, both, see both sides of this. I mean, I almost fell out of my chair when I see the price of a pair of boots of $600. It's, it's incredible. So it's a pair of boots cost. Yeah, no, I, 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 I know. I, I looked some of these numbers up myself, and I was astonished. It's nuts. And you know, now more than ever, they're really looking at gear not only for um, condition of the gear, but does it actually fit? Because you can't be able to work in that you know, um, environment if you have things that are too big or too tight or too loose. So they pretty much don't like the hand-me-down aspect much anymore. <laughs> it's got to be size to you. All right. So is there a motion to fund the equipment and supplies account, the 202 account? I'll make a motion. We fund 5202. I just second. Present it. No. We can take anything. Well, what do you think about that, Richie? We, uh, well, I probably oh, yeah. yeah, we took. Then we picked five hundred out of. You took five hundred dollars uh, out of meter. the um, meters account. Yes. Okay. All right. So I withdraw my motion. That's right. We'll make a brand new motion. Then we fund the five two zero two minus the five hundred we took out. Yeah. Minus the five hundred. Second. So seventy six eight hundred. All right, so that was seconded by Rich. Yeah. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? I just want to hear Richie's, uh, you know, his ideas on on what the costs are. We have coming from well, the it, it, side it, of it, You know, everything here. that's going on. But to the departments and your comment about you need the equipment for the men and women and women, <laughs> right? For the firefighters, right, and, and you know, I know years ago we used to pass down equipment. She basically just mentioned about you know, some some guy being in a, in a tent or or so tight he can't move in it. So you know, the, the things have changed from years ago, and we have to provide what we need for the fire departments. And you know, to that example, you know, I think it's great. I've got uh, this. Uh, Female in the class that she has size five and a half feet. I have nothing in stock that's going to put a five and a half foot. I don't have that in the group. So it was my company. And spent six hundred dollars in uh, by Vanessa a new pair of boots. All right. So is everybody everybody good? I'll come up with a total number here. Problem I found with the custom fit gear is once you get it fit, stomach changes a little bit. It's uh, almost like it doesn't fit anymore. Got to be careful. You can't cut it too close. So if my math is correct, I come up with a, a, proposed, a total proposed budget of one hundred ninety-seven thousand four hundred fifty dollars. Anybody want to double check me? That'd be a little less because his request for the budget is one ninety eight seven two. Right, I came up so I so we we reduce the two hundred two by five hundred. Right, we reduce the two hundred eight by four fifty, and we reduce the three hundred six by uh, three fifty for a total of thirteen hundred dollars in reductions.
So just going back to the, the last motion on the uh, uh, 502 account. Did we state what the bottom line was for that? We took 500 out of the 77. Yes, yeah, so yeah, 76, 8. I didn't look at that. You got the 97, 413. Yeah. So a motion to recommend to the Board of Selectmen to fund the Stony Hill Fire Department in the amount of $197,450. Second. I second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Final item on our agenda is consideration of a proposed ex officio member to represent Stony Hill Fire Department. I guess Rich has had a little more uh, conversation with the selectmen regarding well, in, that. And, it, in the current uh, ordinance, is, uh, each department is, has one ex officio member. So at, at this time, I'd recommend to the commission that we appoint the one member currently uh, for the Stony Hill Fire Department, which has been Chief Baker. So you make a motion to recommend to the Board of Selectmen and Chief Baker for appointment to the Fire yeah. Commission as the ex officio member? Correct. Is there a second on that motion? I second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? It's okay. So you get to sit up here at the stand up future. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> because now you're a Yeah, you should have been up here also. All right. Uh, so, is there any additional discussion under budgets for the um, the capital? So, we're endorsing the one point six million for the. the uh, well, we we already right, quoted right. a recommendation for the board of selectmen. For, yeah, both of them for the, for the purchase of the truck for both companies. Uh, and yeah, there, there was a from the last year's uh, recommendation or request. The price has gone up. That's why it's now 1.6. And now we're saying that it might be close to 1.7 uh, before the voting is completed. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we've, we forwarded our recommendation to require two ladder trucks without a number attached to it. So, I mean, kind of up, kind of up at this point, up to the Board of Selectmen and Board of Finance to come up with a number. I mean, that, yeah, and then there's that whole issue with the numbers continuing to go up for even the cheese rates. Yeah, I mean, I that's another one that kind of putting radios in it was uh, fourteen thousand dollars for two radios. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why why the cheese vehicle is is stalled. I mean, it seems like that's been on the back burner for the better part of two years now. Did we explicitly make that motion in our discussion earlier? To, to recommend, say, yeah, did the, we, the yeah. truck made it through in the first discussion. Okay. That, that's yeah. yes. So last night there wasn't a board of selectmen meeting, correct? No, the weather. The, the weather. Was it rescheduled? Pardon? Was it rescheduled? It was we just postponed until the next regular meeting. We had a special meeting to deal with some other stuff earlier tonight. Mm -hmm. That was an honor. There's nothing else, so I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Nice. Nicely put together.